Hello, Commander. We've all read your official reports. While they seem comprehensive and quite detailed, you'll understand that we must debrief you personally about said operations leading up to the incident on Liberty Island last week. Now, based on what you've been telling us, this all began at your meeting with known arms dealer Emilio Pascal. It's also where you claim to have found the first of the device segments. So, fill in the blanks for me, Commander. Start from the beginning. Bottom right corner will highlight with dossier text if you are looking directly at someone. <coughs> Press the button and you'll receive information on them. It might prove to be useful. text if you are looking directly at someone. Press the button and you'll receive information on them. It might prove to be useful. Gotta pat you down again. Raise your arms, please. <laughs> Saw a guy once who tried hiding a gun in a crapper. Didn't turn out too good for him. <laughs> Don't forget to move. Gotta pat you down again. Raise your arms, please. Look, you're not getting in there without a search. Like I said, a pat down gets you through the door.
guy to pat you down again. Raise your arms, please. All right, you're cool. Go on in. Ooh, that is deliciously scandalous, darling. And with our guests returning... Ah, perfect timing. Our dinner has been served, and I, for one, do hate to negotiate on an empty stomach. Although, as I mentioned previously, the shipment you are interested in is already spoken for. Don't be so hasty, love. You never know what can be revealed during a polite dinner conversation. Yes. Have you completely lost your bloody mind? Gods! <laughs> Our guest returning. Ah, perfect timing. Our dinner has been served, and I, for one, do hate to negotiate on an empty stomach. Although, as I mentioned previously, the shipment you are interested in is already spoken for. Don't be so hasty, love. You never know what can be revealed during a polite dinner conversation. Yes, this is true. Please, join me. Tell me, since you know I've already promised the shipment to someone else, why were you so insistent on this meeting? An operative must first be skilled in the art of conversation. Once mastered, these skills can be used to harvest intel, build trust, and even become delicate interrogations. This is Mr. Smith. He has stolen corporate data and needs transport out of the country. You are to gain his trust and be that transport. Begin. What? Are you a cop or something? No, no. Too direct. No, I haven't. Why do you ask? Interesting choice. Now before we proceed, remember you must guide the direction of a conversation correctly. Otherwise, the subject may get suspicious of you. Suspicion can change the outcome of the interaction. It might send you down a path that's not in your best interest. Let's continue. Yes. And yours? Didn't check out. And you're dead. Best to avoid highlighting weaknesses in your backstory, don't you think? Again. Not really. No. Avoid dead end yes or no questions when possible. Yeah? Good for you, but why are you telling me this? Good. You have him curious. Proceed. Sure. You're assuming too much. Try a different approach. Yes. Yes, I am. Nicely done. We'll make an operative out of you yet. So, why are we chatting? That's a bit insulting. I'm a simple businessman. Nothing more. Yes, I am competent enough to understand that. Are you really going to sit here and waste my time? Ah, a direct approach. You've discerned that I'm a man who wastes little time. I like that. But I'm afraid this conversation has already run its course before even fishing. Uh, Captain Wilson, how much longer? 20 minutes. It's a regular descent, sir. There. We have 20 minutes to complete this 
delightful meal. While you tell me how you came about this information about my dealing with the Kalonthra, rebels or freedom fighters, or whatever it is they're calling themselves this week. A good question, darling. I'd like to know that myself. Have you completely lost your bloody mind? Guards! So, why are we chatting? Ah, a direct approach. You've discerned that I'm a man who wastes little time. I like that. But, I'm afraid this conversation has already run its course before even finishing. Uh, Captain Wilson, how much longer? There. We have 20 minutes to complete this delightful meal. While you tell me how you came about this information about my dealing with the Kilonthra rebels or um, freedom fighters, or whatever it is they're calling themselves this week. A good question, darling. I'd like to know that myself. Is this one capable of such a thing? I think not. Cut from the same cloth, are we? You don't have to reveal your source. I respect that, even. What is known is known. However, indulge me. For my own amusement, really. Why should I risk my reputation and sell you something that is already spoken for? What are you talking about? What I'm going to do is give you a tour of the outside of my plane. <sighs> Darling? It's not champagne, but it still goes pop. You know, in my line of work, a gun to the head doesn't intimidate easily. If I die, how can I talk? If you shoot any part of me, my guards will be here before you can suck down your final breath. I wouldn't be so mouthy if I was in your position. Ooh, face sucked off by rapid decompression. Nice. I remember the last time we did that. Nasty way to go. Okay, okay, you've made your point. It's close. The shipment is close. How close? Is it here on the plane? No, outside. Right there, you can see it. Damn it. Get up. Done and cannot be reversed. Now I have a gun pointed at us all, I think. In my line of work, there are always contingency plans in place. You've merely forced my hand. Dorn. Can you hack into the plane's flight deck and bend the gas in the cockpit? Negative. I don't know how Pascal planned to get out of this one, but there's no system in place to vent that gas. You're not getting it to those plane controls. I believe this one auto. I'm sure he has an escape plan in place, we just have to find it. Well, you better find it fast because 
the autopilot on that plane is only going to last for a few minutes before you go into a free fall. Try scanning a different spectrum with your lenses. Touch your tempo to cycle through your options. We've done it a million times. How do you want to play this? We've been in worse situations before. Let's do it. Really? This is your plan? Zip it, Doran. You're crushing my buzz here. I'm just saying, Anna. The calculations of you reaching that other plane. What have we told you about thinking too much? Okay, fine. Let me know how it feels being sucked through a jet engine. I've always been curious. Looks like a lot of equipment has been deactivated with, you know, the plane going down and everything. You don't have time to worry about that now. Keep moving. Take this. You'll need it if you're leaning the way. Your standard issue sidearm is a custom built 10 millimeter automatic. It's a stopping power of 45, twice the range. It's equipped with a digital round counter. Now, let's load up a magazine and see what I'm working with. Introduce some moving targets. Keep your aim steady. Excellent. Two 
squad to secondary firing mode. HC guns come equipped with a standard backup option. Require a secondary ammo. Go ahead and begin. difficult when the targets shoot back. on this plane and not one of the others. It's definitely there. Let me see. Looks like it's... I see it. Has to be this. Bingo. Hope this was all worth it because this does not look that impressive. Okay, Doran. Make sure that Sam and the extraction team are ready to go. We're about to... Okay, that didn't sound good. What the hell was that? Roger that. Good luck. Grab your weapon from the case over there.
Amazing that you and your teammate, Ana Romero, were able to make it out of there in one piece. Hard to believe, actually. But the recon team's investigation seems to back it up. It appears that you fulfilled your mission objectives and stopped Pascal. And destructive, apparently. Hmm. I want to discuss why your team recovered a segment of an unidentified device of unknown origin and decided to keep it on your mobile HQ instead of turning over said device to the agency. Yes, well, we all know how that went. Instead, there was a data breach, and two of our deep cover operatives defected in search of similar device segments. Let's start with Naveen Natam. Practically designed the agency's computer system, so it was easy for him to get in. Nobody saw it coming. You were sent undercover to capture Naveen in India and retrieve the stolen device piece that he possessed. What is your recollection of the mission? Seems that Naveen is part of some type of fighting tournament around this area. There's almost no record of it, however, so it might just be something he does for entertainment? I'm not sure. I'll start digging to see if I can come up with anything else. In the meantime, you need to find your way up to the ring area. We weren't exactly invited, so you're on your own and getting past the guards. Why are you worried about me? मेरे पास इस बकवास के लिए समय नहीं है। मुझे तुमसे कोई लेना देना नहीं है। चले जाओ। मैं वैसा ही करूँगा जैसा मेरा मन होगा। तुम मेरे बॉस नहीं हो। अगर हमें गोबलिन पत्ते खेलने हो, तो तुम बुरी तरह हार जाओगे। मुझसे बड़ा कोई नहीं है इसलिए मैं जानता हूं कि वो बात गलत है तुम्हारा मुझसे कोई मुकाबला नहीं है इसमें क्या तुख है अगर मैंने किया भी तो मैं तुम्हें क्यों बताऊं This is a members only area. Show me your token or move along. Sure, whatever. I'll be here. Entrance to the pit areas by invitation only. Show it to me. Does it look like I have a credit card machine on me? 
take a hike before you really start to piss me off. The only thing with your name on it is the bullet in my gun. Get lost. I'm listening. See if you can prove it. Lost my watch last week down in the gambling den. I was drunk. I didn't have any money. Whatever. The point is, it's an heirloom. I want it back. But that seedy dealer won't sell it to me. It has to be won. And if I get caught gambling again, the boss will boot my ass out of here. Tell you what. You get that watch back, I let you in the pit. Got a deal? Okay. I'll wait for you here. Take this token. You'll need it to get in the gambling den. Get that watch for me. have a token, huh? Let's take a look. Okay, this looks legit. You're good to go. Looks like a gaming hall of sorts. Hmm. Let me reprogram your ring. It might be able to give you an edge so you can get that watch back. स्वागत है क्या आप कुछ खरीदना चाहेंगे माफ कीजिए आपके पास इसे खरीदने का पर्याप्त पैसा नहीं है अपने किस्मत आजमाएं और देखें कि क्या आप मेरे कुछ शानदार इनाम जीत सकते हैं। Looks like you're going to have to get creative and find some currency. Any ideas?
बहुत बढ़िया दोबारा फिर कभी खेलने के लिए आए आप फिर आए हैं क्या आप आज कुछ खरीदना चाहेंगे शुक्रिया कृपया दोबारा आए actually got it back. I thought for sure that asshole dealer would have gotten rid of it by now. You did me a solid, so I'll let you go bet on the fights. Just do us both a favor and stay out of trouble. dressed to get in the ring so i assume you're here to bid yeah obviously that is not what i meant if i wanted to disrespect you trust me you would know Pity. Someone who has never lost has no real sense of what it is like to win. Now do they? Ha! We have something in common then, don't we? My name is Naveen Raunatan. I am the, shall we say, host of this humble event today. Who exactly might you be? Pleasure. I don't remember seeing you before. Is this your first event with us? It is not easy to be invited to one of our events. Your friend must think very highly of you. I am therefore honored to have you here. Now, on to more important matters. A thousand pardons. Yes? Here now. Everything. I somehow doubt that... Really? Very interesting. Of course. Goodbye. My friend, I... I think we'll have to conclude our business a bit early. Something has come up that needs my attention. It has been a pleasure. Welcome back. Glad you could join us. Now, you probably feel all alone in this situation, but I have one bit of good news. It seems that we share a mutual friend. Nice to see you again. Been a long time, hasn't it? 
You remember Mr. Smith, yeah? Helped all of us with our training way back when. Although, you seem to take more credit for an agent's success than you have earned. Wouldn't you agree? Whatever. Look, this is already more than I bargained for. I'm only here for the device. X wants you to hand it over to me so I can deliver it. Personally. I was promised I would have the time to examine it. I haven't been back here in years, and the device is the only reason that I'm here now. So go and tell X that it is safe with me. No, that's not good enough. X was very specific about how it was to be handled and delivered. Now, show it to me. Fine, Smith. Relax. Anything if you'll stop talking. Give him the case. Excellent. I'll be on my way then. Wait. Wait. Tell me. What do you know about this one? Nothing. Same as you. After initiation and training, everyone scattered around across different sections, divisions. They're all assigned a code name, moved around in the system. Sometimes even the agent doesn't know their official assignment location, safety precautions and whatnot. Obviously, these precautions were thought up by incompetent pencil pushers. Now, weren't they? We need to know what this one knows. Do that needle thing. Are you serious? I don't have time for this. Just do it the old-fashioned way. Show a little respect, Smith. This one trained as I did. Our kind are not weak like you. Torture will not break us. Plus, your way is enjoyable. I don't have to work up a sweat, and I get to hear everything that needs to be said. Sometimes they even seem a bit excited to give up the information. So do it. Fine. Let's get this over with. X is expecting me. Get the chopper ready. Go on. Get it ready. Oh, now. Frito, ready Hold for you still, my friend. Do not bother resisting. It's a waste of everyone's time. This is going to sting a bit, I'm afraid. Not that you're in a position to complain about it. No, no, no. That's a new type of sodium pentothal. The reason I'm sure that this is very affected. You want to fight this with everything you've got. You hear me? It is a shame that you and I never worked together. I think we'd have made quite a team, the two of us. You'd have knowledge. I've taken on this mission, and it's vital importance. So please, don't take this personally. Should be here any time. Tell, Tell us everything, everything. Your mission, your team. You won't give me that yourself. Let's start with something simple. Something, something only really operatives like ourselves would know. Tell me, Fred. What is your code name? is starting to do its trick. After you, Smith. Listen to me. You can't give the info they want. If so, you will compromise the entire mission. You have to fight this. Stay strong until I can send back up. What do you know of this device? Uh, you're resisting. Nice. You keep it away. Just like that. Who else, else is on your team? Uh, it's not for some reason. Stop, Stop resisting. They obviously did have had a drug on some of your willpower. Hold on a bit longer. How do you get asked the security? security. Curious.
Yeah, that's, that's, that's not what I was looking for. Just hang there. Back is arriving soon. Who's running, running your operation? It's just too much resistance. The dosage by one and a half. here as quick as I could. Nice job staying tough. Let me get you out of this. All right, let's get a move on. Smith has what we came for, but if Naveen escapes, that's bad news too. Which one do you want to go for? Take it. I'll get Smith to hand over the case. You keep Naveen from getting out of here. See you soon. If Naveen escapes, he'll be able to let the other defectors know that we're after them. You have to stop him at any cost. Come on. 
gotten local law enforcement's attention. Sam is being caught in the distraction. Damn, the way it got Smith and the case. Things seem to be looking up. Well done, Commander. See you soon. So, Naveen and Smith? Well, looks like we can add a highly ranked training operative to the list. After you and your teammate, Wade Jenkins, completed the mission, you and the rest of your team still neglected to hand over the recovered technology. Care to tell me why? Let's talk about that. At this point, you had no clue who Naveen and Smith were working for, correct? No lead as to the identity of this X. But it wasn't just anybody, now was it? Let's talk about your mission in London. Jimmy Dale Brodigan, deep cover operative posing as an arms dealer and fixer. But it wasn't a priority for you or your team to report what you were doing, now was it? No assumptions, please. Let's stick to the facts. I'm aware. Your plan was to infiltrate the hotel with teammate Daniel Garrett as your support operative. It says here that you went undercover as a... Really? Okay, Commander, let's pick things up with your arrival at the hotel. This Jimmy Brodigan character covers his tracks, but he didn't count on someone like me following his trail. He has a scheduled massage every Monday, so that is your cover to get in. Garrett is in position on the roof for support and extraction. Now, let's see what you can get out of Jimmy. How can I help you? The waiting area is over there, and the exit is behind you. Take your pick. Really? No one informed me. Hold on. I'll need to call the agency to confirm. One moment, please. I already saw that coming, lady. I'm gonna patch in. Here we go. Thank you for calling, Big Massage. This is Melissa. How can I help you? 
Hello. This is Emily from the Holbrook. Hello, Emily. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Confirming that you sent someone else other than Franz for my client today. I wasn't informed of the change. My apologies. Yes, Franz is ill at the moment. It slipped my mind to give you a ring ahead of time with all that's been going on over here. No worries. But please be mindful of my client's discretion with new people he is not familiar with. You do know the drill by now, yes? Absolutely. Won't happen again, Emily. Thanks for understanding. All right, Melissa. Take care. Please take this and put it on. Go upstairs to the room with the two gentlemen standing outside and they will let you in. Since you're new, please be aware that Mr. Brodigan doesn't like to be spoken to. Likes a medium pressured massage and no funny business. Cheers. She totally bought it. These new voice modulators are great, except for the taste. Swallowing them is the hardest part. Have you been on the second floor yet? You'll need to put that badge on so you pass by the guards. Um, okay. Thanks for that tidbit. I would, but I already spent all my rewards points on my room here. Sorry, I'm not sure who that is. Scary against what? A small country invading?
Get into the room and assess the situation, and we'll go from there. Late. Mr. Brodigan's waiting inside. Go on in. Can I help you with something? Huh? Where's France? Hmm? Well, table's in there, innit? Twat. Yeah. Uh huh. 
you saying? Here's the plan. Start massaging him for long enough so that I can try to trace the call. Let's see who's on the other end of the line. What's that? Now listen to me, boy. That tosser, that yank wank on your side of the pond, I cannot speak for. Oi. Heard something interesting, did you? Guards! 